So I heard some of you are struggling with blending, and that's okay. That trips up a lot of people in the beginning. So I want you to pick three colors, just three, and take a mop brush or a large flat brush and dip into the lightest one. My lightest one is yellow, and I'm gonna go back and forth at the bottom of my canvas. And because there's three colors, I'm only going to do a third of the canvas. There we go, nice long strokes back and forth. Now, without washing my brush, okay, the yellow is already on there. I'm going to dip into my next darkest color, which is the pink. All right, I'm going to load that up and start right back up where I left off. So I'm going to do another third of the canvas. See, you can already see a little bit of the yellow. You see that in the pink, all right? That already starts your blending process as you do this. That's why I never really wash my brush in between strokes in the background, depending on the color, but this is good practice. I'm gonna go a third of the way up, okay? Now, do you see this really cut, like, clean line. You don't want that. That isn't blended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack with the color I had before, which is yellow. Without washing my brush, I'm going to dip back into yellow so there's more yellow than pink, and I'm going to go across that clean cut line really carefully. See that? It already starts to make it a little bit lighter with the combination of the two. Now, here's where everybody gets tripped up. When you do this, you do need to go into your yellow a little bit by bringing it down. And what everybody is tempted to do is they keep going down and down and down. And what ends up happening is they lose all of their yellow. See, I am not going down very far. To keep you from going down too far though, let me tell you a trick. All you have to do is get a clean brush. Okay, so see I have a little bit of a fade there, but instead of going all the way down with paint, take a clean brush without any paint on it and you can go back and forth while it's still wet. Back and forth and see how that fades it out really, really nice, especially if you struggle with getting too much paint on your brush. Go back in with a clean brush for blending. You don't need any more paint on it. Look at that, that is such a nice fade now. And it's important that you do it before the paint dries, otherwise you're just gonna be brushing on dry paint. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my brush again that had the pink and yellow on it and go into my darkest color, which is purple. And I'm gonna start above where I left off on the pink. Ooh, see, so you can already see a little bit of the pink and yellow on there, that's kind of pretty. I just kind of go with the flow, go all the way up to the top of your canvas. See that? You can see a couple of the colors in there, but I'm gonna bring that all the way up. And now I do have a clean cut line again where the pink meets the purple, so I'm going to backtrack with the same brush with the pink and go over that line, just like we did with the pink and the yellow. Go back and forth. Oh, see that blends out a little bit. But again, people are always tempted to keep moving down into your pink, and what happens is your pink gets too dark. So if you struggle with that, take your dry brush again with nothing on it and go back and forth until you blend it the way you want. All right, that is a great trick, especially if you are practicing. So my homework for you today, pick out three colors and try this practice method on a blank canvas.